What a great night of fights last night. Uh, Coach James Bashir called me last night, and we talked about the fight. I believe he watched it over at Vlad Sorenko's place, and James was saying that uh, he thought that Fury didn't even win the first couple rounds. He, he just saw it as a thorough beating, and I believe he's going to come on the show later tonight. I believe I'm going live with him. Uh, Tim Witherspoon's coming through. Uh, my dude, Andrew Tucker, so hopefully everything goes smoothly. But let's talk about that ninth round. A lot of people are saying that that fight should have been stopped. They think the ref was doing a slow count, gave Tyson Fury a chance to recover. Of course, he fell into the uh, ring post, which uh, I believe that's considered a knockdown. He got a, a, a count. But remember, it's always the referee's 10 count, not... Uh, actual stopwatch 10 count. I think a lot of people don't know that or they forget that. So, I mean, Tyson Fury showed he could continue fighting. So, you know, I don't really have a problem with that. You know, I think we would all probably been mad had it been stopped for we, you know, even though I said an eighth round knockout. So if anything, I should be like, yeah, they should have stopped it. But, you know, I think it was, I think it was fair. Um, Plus, a lot of people are being hard on Fury about what he said about they gave Usyk the win because of the war going on in the Ukraine. And that was in the heat of the moment. You know, he's a competitor. No competitor likes to lose, especially when he's never had a loss on his record. So, you know, you can't really come down too hard on Tyson Fury for saying what he thought in the heat of the moment. Um, I was thinking, though, you know how uh, the fight could have been stopped with Tyson Fury, as people are saying, I was thinking about, um, we were saying the same thing with Triple D when he knocked down Usyk, like the fight could have been stopped there. It's funny how things get reversed like that. I was watching his manager, Alex Krashik, do an interview with Derek Chisora, and he was wearing a black suit. And Derek Chisora was like, what's the meaning behind the black suit? And he said the black suit is, uh, I'm paraphrasing again, as I like to say, he said something to the effect that uh, this black suit is for the last of the UK heavyweight champions. So he was kind of taking a shot at the UK. He was just playing around. Derek Chazor was like, you know, I should beat your... <laughs> and then they hugged it out. But uh, there were some rumors that Usyk had a broken jaw. Not true, as Alex Krashik said. Plus, Usyk came to the press conference after being checked out at the hospital. But um, that ninth round was special, man. Usyk just might have the best resume of any of the heavyweights. I mean, he's fought Derek Chisora, Daniel Dubois, Anthony Joshua twice, Tyson Fury, and he's won all the fights, you know. I was saying that the crown should be given to Daniel Dubois at the time, but that's not how it went down in the record book. So he's undefeated in the land of the giants, you know, makes me think of King David in the scriptures or King Daweed. So, um, sovereign Daweed, but that ninth round was interesting because Tyson Fury was just getting beat from pillar to post. We've never seen him on wild, wild, wobbly legs like that. But, you know, it shows the will of Tyson Fury that he didn't hit the canvas. I know the, the ring corner kind of stopped him from going down to the ropes. But still, he stayed on his feet officially. And, you know, it was an interesting round. It was an interesting fight. Coach James shared something with me about his trainer taught him that when you're fighting a lefty, you, even if you have to take a few shots, you always come forward. And Tyson Fury was constantly backing up in that fight, you know. He said, you always come forward. But, you know, I guess different game plans reach different fighters. Did you guys think the fight should have been stopped in the ninth round? Um... What else did I want to talk about? Oh, uh, I was watching Showbiz. Shout out to Showbiz. He did a video. People were telling him that Alexander Usyk was using some type of inhaler in the corner, and he zeroed in a couple times, and we saw it. It was a cross that they had, and um, they were putting a cross in his face, so it wasn't an inhaler. 
but you know, a lot of the fanboys are coming up with excuses. Um, Tyson Fury probably thinks he won it, but he was pretty humble at the press conference. And, you know, there's some talking about like Johnny Nelson that Tyson Fury might think about this and retire. It's one loss. Don't overreact. It's one loss. I don't think Tyson Fury will go out with a loss like that, especially with all the money that will come at him from a rematch and upcoming fights with AJ. Um, the headline of the interview with Johnny Nelson was called uh, Tyson Fury is the sum of contradictions. And he can contradict himself a lot. But two, when you're in the heat of the battle, like I said, you've never had a loss. You're still trying to figure out what just happened. So... I think a fight with him and AJ will be huge. Of course, AJ should be the favorite because uh, I think Usyk may have beat up Tyson Fury more than he beat up AJ. And look what Ngannou did to Fury. So you can almost look at this as back-to-back -back losses for Fury in a way, even though he officially got the win against Ngannou. A lot of us thought Ngannou won that fight just based off dominance and the fact that he knocked Fury down. And Fury wasn't a clear clear winner like he was in the first uh, fight with Deontay Wilder. So looking at mutual opponents, you would say that uh, AJ would have to be the favorite going in against Tyson Fury. But uh, y'all got to lay off Tyson Fury. People like couldn't wait for him to lose so they could start, you know, hey, I still like Tyson Fury. I like John Fury, Shane Fury, Tommy Fury, all the Fury. So just because you don't fight a good fight doesn't mean you're a scrub, doesn't mean you should retire. Usyk just knows how to fight, man. He, he's a mental, mentally tough guy. For him to come up from cruiserweight and beat these real big guys, man, and, and he's constantly walking Tyson Fury down, says a lot about Alexander Usyk. And uh, Tyson Fury, I do believe he'll be back. And uh, he just has to work on some things you know he can come back better we'll see but uh we can talk about that ninth round tonight join me on the live stream i'm gonna have on tim witherspoon hopefully coach james Bashir and andrew tucker of andrew tucker world make sure to hit the comments share subscribe lsr forever be fearless yay